what Jeremy Clarkson says? Power! Welcome back to turn five. The brakes work. The brakes work, the power works, everything works. Other than the lights inside to see us. <laughs> oh well, I mean, does anybody really need to see us at this point? Well, it's really early, so probably not. It brings up my next good point. What does Dave from DDE always say when they're going to a car meet? Why is it so early in the morning? Everybody that goes to him's rich. Why would you wake up early to go to a car meet? Let's have like cars and brunch or something. Yes, this sounds great. Yeah, let's see if there's anything good on the road here. Otherwise, we'll see you around a lot of beautiful cars. Tell me that's not like <laughs> the weirdest thing you've ever seen. It's very weird, and I, I, I'm very confused. <laughs> I've heard that RZRs or Razors, whatever you call them. You can make them street legal. Right, and clearly you can, but it looks really weird going 70 miles an hour on a freeway in a metropolis. Yes. We are almost at Cars and Coffee, the last one of the year. Is it? It is. Disappointing. It's the first one that we've been to. Yes. So it will be the best one. Yep. You're welcome. Welcome to Cars of Coffee. You should angle them this way because there's that a, one or there's some what about Ferraris the Astons back there and the Ferraris. If you guys don't have a Cars and Coffee event in your area, seek one out and go drive to it because it's always worth it. These are the best events ever. You see super rare cars, Carrera GTs, and the you sound. hear the cool noises. <laughs> it's cool. Let's do a montage of all the cars that we got here. All right.
What a fabulously fun day. Yes, I hope you all enjoyed the montage. And uh, I hope you guys comment which car was your favorite down below. Make sure you guys go to a Cars and Coffee event because it's phenomenal. It's super fun. We had the extra privilege today of going to the Porsche dealer and then to the Twin Cities newest dealer. Ferrari Performance? It's the Ferrari dealership in the Twin Cities. It's At any rate, it has cars I can't afford. Yeah. But uh, the sales guys were super nice. So if you're in the ballpark that you can afford a Ferrari and you live in Minnesota, they're really nice guys. I've been there. Do you know there's only 45 dealerships in the entire country? Really? Yeah. Crazy. Well, thanks for watching. Backward I-5. That was... Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to click like and subscribe. And before we go, what was your favorite car? Well, the Courier GT, obviously. Oh, I did get to sit in the Courier GT today. I didn't record it. I was kind of in awe. I mean, it was crazy. Like, yeah, I was like, how? How did you manage to get this lucky? I mean, we are turn five. <laughs> we got exclusive footage for you. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.